<clears throat> Hello. So what we got here is a shit ton of snow and um, some raw wool, I guess. Well, it's not raw because I carded it. So it's uh, a spindle, a little baby spindle, kind of portable. You can just carry it by your side. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to find the sheep. I hear, heard a bell this way. So they're going to be over there. If I wasn't holding a camera, usually I'd be like spinning the yarn while I'm trying to listen for the bell. So maybe if I find them, I'll put the bell down or the phone down and spin some yarn. But yeah, sheep herding during the winter. Just ranching. Oh, hold on. So, I had an idea. Well, not an idea, but I should look up the name to the sagebrush out here. I don't know if you can eat it or not, but there's like a scene in the movie The Missing where like um, Tommy Lee Jones is cooking fish and he's like putting sage on the fish. And I guess his daughter's like having an argument with him. <laughs> He's like sidestepping the question, so he's like, I asked, did you want, to? yeah, the, <laughs> I'm not going to say it word for word, but I want to figure out what that stuff is. Get back to, hmm, I heard that bell. <laughs> Crazy sheep, they're like camouflage. Good thing I have a bell on them. I didn't never find them. Hmm. Found those little bastards. I'm all out of breath. Are you spawning now? Oh, yeah. Are you spawning now? <laughs> Bye. Well, I shouldn't be running outside. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, that movie with Tommy Lee called The Missing. You should watch it. It's like full of genies and all these weird skinwalkers and shit. It's pretty gnarly. I think he has like, like the main genie or whatever, the main witch doctor guy. He has like this necklace with like body parts and shit. It's gnarly. That's my childhood. Fucking. Okay. Let's spin some yarn. Shelby. That's Shelby. She won't. No one chant. I'm trying to make a video for the YouTubes. <laughs> okay, I want it. No, Shelby. Get. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show <her> to... <laughs> Okay, you can see it perfect. Okay, take your spindle right here. After you card it, and then like um, they call these lamb tails. After you do that to lamb tail. Okay, spindle. You gotta wet it. It looks weird, but. That's what I was told. The moisture helps friction. Stick it through. Woo! And then you're gonna want to spin the spindle. Okay, put this in my pocket. See, I can still hear the sheet. So that's what I do. Spin it a little bit. Get that in there. Twist, twist, and then pull until you get to the right thickness. And then spin, 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 pull. It depends on the quality of like the um, the the wool you cut. If it's like, I don't really understand it yet because I'm still an amateur. But if the fibers are good and all uniform shape, then your yarn when you spin it will go really easy at this point, and you'll just get yeah. So that's how you do it. Then you wind it up a little bit, tuck it in, and then move on to the next section. Spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it. Pull. Spin, 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 spin. Pull. Right there. Okay. Whew. I, the bell's getting farther and farther away. I, <laughs> I need to keep keep paying attention. If you don't pay attention, there goes your sheep. So, back before they had like... um. The Nintendo Switch, just kidding. Before they had um, electronics to keep you busy while you sheep herd, you would do this. 
because it's monies, you know, you get, you get home, you have all this yarn, and then what do you do? You re weave a rug and you go sell it. You go hit up the traders, get yourself some money, go make yourself a bowl of mutton stew, or uh, steam corn, go get some steam corn, <laughs> corn, but all right. You see how it's winding up? That's where it goes. So, yep, you just keep doing that and then you fill up the spindle. All right. See you later.